Portable water filters and water purifiers ensure access to clean drinking water wherever you are. While both filters and purifiers remove bacteria from water using a mechanical process of pumping then forcing water through a filtering device, only purifiers can render viruses inactive using either an additional chemical or electrostatic process. Viruses are infinitesimal organisms too tiny to be tracked by a filter but big enough to make you pretty uncomfortable. Devices identified as purifiers usually cause water to interact with iodine, which can render viruses inactive. Other purifiers use a positive electrostatic charge in its filter to capture viruses. When comparing portable water filters and purifiers, look for an absolute, not nominal, pore size of 0.2 microns. This industry-wide benchmark indicates the system's smallest filtering capability. No bacteria larger than 0.2 microns can get through. Though a larger pore size of 0.3 or 0.4 may suffice in most situations, why take the risk with your help or, health or with your trip? If you're a recreational backpacker, someone who takes one or two overnight trips per year, an inexpensive filter will serve you well. Still, be careful about what type of water you send through. Make sure it's as clear as possible and the filter will last longer. If you visit the wilderness regularly, you want a field cleanable model designed to provide years of service. This is a good example of that. You can open the filter to brush or scrub the filter medium and increase water flow. Don't be alarmed if you get clogging. It shows the filter or purifier is working. Ceramic filter media can usually accept dozens of cleanings before needing replacement. Some models can be cleaned through backwashing. Doesn't normally sound like cleaning, does it? This is a process of feeding clean water through the filter in reverse, but you need ample water you know is clean in order to do so, so that's a good thing to do at home after your trip. People who explore terrain closer to urban areas, at lower elevations, and who travel outside the United States and Canada are candidates for a purifier. The most common chemical water treatments used by hikers and backpackers for drinking water purification are some form of chlorine, iodine, or oxidizing agents. All of these chemical options require time for the chemicals to do their job. As a general rule, you should wait at least 30 minutes after adding the chemical treatment and longer for colder water. The chemicals work more slowly in colder temperatures. Remember to loosen the cap on your water container and slosh some of the treated water onto the threads of the cap easy to forget. You want to make sure that the cap and bottle are clean to eliminate any contaminants that may be trapped there. Iodine, an effective and economical means of purifying water, but iodine is not effective against cryptosporidium. Iodine can be added to your water in two different forms, pills or crystals. Iodine has a taste to it, and some people object to that. A good trick, if you add a sugar mix like Gatorade or Kool-Aid, the sugar binds to the iodine and gets rid of the taste. But this should only be added after you've waited the recommended amount of time for treatment because that sugar neutralizes the effectiveness of the iodine as well as that taste. Hypochlorite is used by the company Myox to purify water. MSR and Myox have come together to make the MSR Myox. It's a good name. It takes a brine solution from rock salt and water, and via an electric current, it converts it to hypochlorite. The MSR Myox inactivates viruses, bacteria, giardia, and even cryptosporidium. This system requires table salt and small batteries to op operate. The MSR Myox is able to inactivate hepatitis to an undetectable level, but it takes about 60 minutes. Cryptosporidium can be eliminated to a near undetectable level, but that takes as long as 240 minutes. Really want to plan ahead for that one. Although this is a long time to wait when you bear in mind that other systems, including filters, can't eliminate both cryptosporidium and waterborne viruses, you definitely begin to see the advantage of this system. The mixed oxidant solution is colorless and tasteless, another benefit. Chlorine dioxide is actually not a chlorine purifier. It works very differently than chlorine. It does not share many of the limitations that chlorine has. Chlorine dioxide is a powerful oxidant that has general germicidal properties that kills microorganisms by disrupting transport of nutrients across the cell wall. Didn't you know that the high school biology would come in handy? It also does not discolor water, it's tasteless, and may be the chemical treatment of choice for many backpackers since it's very portable and effective against protozoa, bacteria, and viruses.